Welcome back. Today I share an Instagram story that I shared maybe about a week and a half, two weeks ago that really just had a powerful message that I wanted to capitalize on and share it with you here. So we're going to dive right in. As always, anything that I share in my Instagram stories where there's a link to click on to take advantage of whatever it is I'm showing or talking about, everything will be in the description box below this video. So let's take a look at a recent message that I shared on Instagram stories. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's another, oh yeah, you applied mascara yesterday <laughs> and forgot that you applied it. <laughs> uh, you have my permission to judge. <laughs> you have my permission, which is a beautiful thing. For those of you who took the live a mastery life, create your personal documents workshop last Saturday. You know what I mean by giving others permission. It's great freedom. It's great freedom. I say that because I do have a video that will release later this morning or for some of you, depending on where you're watching from, you may be up uh, after I hit the publish button at 8 a.m. Eastern. Just got my second cup of coffee. Just read my day two personal documents. So good. I think I shared that one in the workshop. Uh, but today's video. Oh no, I'm getting it mixed up. Sorry. <laughs> getting it mixed up. <laughs> uh, I'm. My workout is starting a little later these days. Well, it depends on what time I get up. <laughs> well, I had a four-day stretch of 3 a.m.s. This morning was a 4 a.m. wake up. Celebrate that win. But I actually woke up naturally at 2.48 and looked at my phone thinking it must be getting close to 4. But I think, you know, my body is adjusting because our body will adjust to what we tell it, right? And that can be serving or not serving. So a four day stretch of getting up at 3 a.m. My body is starting to say, oh, okay. But I forced it, dozed back off, got up at four. But I am actually eating meal one before my workouts right now. The plan that I'm following, I am eating <laughs> quite a few egg whites, <laughs> yes, egg whites, uh, before my workout. So meal one, then I do my workout, and then I eat my big breakfast that you typically see. So that backs me up. And the first couple of days, I was like, ugh, this is too much, but I've got the groove, I'm in the rhythm. Well, I'm going to share, uh, I'm gonna segue and share a little something that you can you can decide if it applies to your life if you resonate with it at all in how you do again it's always it's not about the story it's about the message and does it apply to your life and then if it does you can decide because you have that power whether you chew on it a little bit right I was watching my video clips from yesterday's dance lesson and I'm chuckling as I watch them because now I'm starting to know what I know. <laughs> I'm knowing what I know and I'm like, oh, Tracy, you have some work to do, right? That's okay. I don't judge it. I kind of laugh at it because I trust the process, right? I trust the process and I'm putting the effort in and that's all I can do on my end. Periodically, we get an assessment. Okay, so don't forget that I have an eight month stretch between my last dance lesson to starting back up to finish my last three lessons. I have one more in my package. 
and I'm in, I'm in turmoil about my next steps. So um, I know where, where my desire lies and where my heart is, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the correct fit for me. Um, do the right thing at the right time for the right reasons, right? So it may be the right thing, but it may not align with the right time and the right season. And that's why I never make impulsive decisions in any area of my life. It does not mean that I don't take risk. I certainly take calculated risks. But if I decide to put it once again to a halt because it doesn't align with the right thing at the right time in the right season, um, yeah, I'll be disappointed. Uh, there will be some, some sadness behind it, but I still will practice everything that I've gained so far because I can't, while we do have muscle memory, I can't get it back. So it's kind of like what I'm doing here. No matter what, regardless of what's going on in my life, I have to keep at least managing the practice, the putting it to action, because I may never get it back. I may not be expanding or increasing, but I'm protecting that what I can't get back, and that's the knowledge I've learned. Because you never know. Six months, one year, 18 months, whatever it is, if I decided, hey, it's the right time for the right reason and the right season, I may get back into it. I'm going to be really thankful for that. It was so great to jump back in and, and they're like, oh, I love this. But periodically, you are assessed, you're watched by a elite instructor. So you're with your partner, which right now is his name is David. Love him. He's amazing. Um, just a just a bright a light of shining beam. <laughs> so fun. And the owner assesses and grades like he's literally taking notes and grading you. Um, and I don't get too nervous about that. I'm just okay with the fact that I'm clearly an amateur and this is only to grow me and increase me, so I welcome it. My lens didn't always come that way, but I'm an eager student. I'm a perpetual student of personal growth in growth in all areas. It's a great place to be. So afterwards, when the review, that he, Dan went over the review with me of some areas to put some work in, um, and, and it's really great constructive criticism that I welcome. And always you hear some things that look good. Um, it's funny now looking back at the videos and I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, because now I know what I know. Um, so it's fun because that's one of the best ways we learn. If your spouse is a golfer, he may often take footage of his golf swing because he learns so much about that. When I golfed with Paul in the past, um, I'm a slicer. <laughs> yes, imagine that. I'm the ball in the woods girl <laughs> and I would never be able to find it. I never, I couldn't see where it went. <laughs> so someone else is always going to find my ball. I don't know how these men have it down, but they know right where that ball landed. Of course, <laughs> my ball isn't too far away. <laughs> Quite easy. But he would take video of me and he would say, I'm telling you, Tracy, you are your um, head, head face, <laughs> face of the head or whatever. The head, the face of the, the, the club head is angled right where your ball is going as you come through. And I'm like, no, I, I, I'm going straight. <laughs> and then sure enough, he has to prove to me that he is indeed correct. <laughs> and he would take a video and then he would show me. And sure enough, you couldn't deny it. Clear as day, ball is going right where I'm hitting it to go. <laughs> so that, if, if, one were to keep up with practicing, they would be able to correct that. So videos can be powerful. 
I'm really storytelling today, aren't I? I love it. People love storytelling. I do too. And there's always a message behind it. So I'm wa I just took a little watch the videos and I have this, this whole look on my face with a little bit of chuckle because I know what I know now or I know what I know. You may not see it because you wouldn't know what you're looking for, but I see it. But I'm okay with that, right? I'm all about, I'm an effort enthusiast. I am an effort enthusiast. Put that on your document. Here's where I want you to absorb the message behind the story. So <laughs> as I was watching the videos, you know, I, I have like jokes in my head. And I think I said it outwardly, but I'm like, give it up, Tracy. <laughs> give it up <laughs> you know just in fun you know how we talk well I do <laughs> maybe you don't um, and I had and a memory popped up a memory popped up from when I was initially taking lessons which again my last lesson was in May of 2023 and I remember sharing a clip on Instagram stories and a follower direct messaged me and put, give it up, <laughs> give it up. Now, I do periodically hear, or I should say receive a comment, give it up. Uh, another time I may receive a direct message like that is if I do like an outfit clip or video, give it up. And we all have perceptions. I usually have a, per a thought, right? I have a thought just like anyone would. I have a perception of what type of person, even what age bracket <laughs> this person is in. I always assume, which is an assumption, that it's a female, or I can clearly tell maybe by the name, which still could be an assumption. I, I get a thought <laughs> for the age bracket, and I have a perception of the person sending. Now, while I don't take my valuable time to reply to that, <laughs> why would I do that? Why would I do that? Why would I give it up? I'm being tested. Last clip didn't upload. I'm trying to think of where I left off since that clipped and upload and then you're talking for like one whole minute and it doesn't upload. It would be easy to do. It almost would make sense to give it up, right? Think about what it would save me. It would save me time. I mean, it's a 50 minute drive to dance lessons, 50 minute lesson, 50 minute drive home, although I am working on the way there and on the way back. So it's not, I'm not losing work because I'm so blessed to have a driver. But boy, it would save time, it would save money, even the gas money to go there, the miles and wear and tear on the car. I can, we can go through every box to justify why giving it up is actually kind of a good thing. So yeah, again, save time. And this is actually starting to, starting to sound quite attractive. <laughs> I'm just giving it up. <laughs> Be careful, Tracy, you're gonna talk yourself right into it. <laughs> save time, save money, save me from being judged by others. What is she doing? What is she thinking? Give it up. Save me the judgment. Save me the embarrassment. Yeah, there's a lot of savings there, right? Just, just give it up. Play small. Stay safe. I've got you. The negative inner voice that always has our back. I've got you. Give it up. Play small. Stay safe. Because then you don't have to face any of those judgments, embarrassment, mistakes. There's a lot of mental that goes on. You you do leave lessons mentally drained. You're trying to recall everything. You're thinking about all these different components within each step. Yeah, it would be the easy route, right? Give it up. But why would I do that? 
Why would I give up on me? Why would I take the gifts that I have and leave them wrapped? If you're listening to the message, I hope it's settling in. What are you just giving it up in, in your life? Just give it up. Where are you staying safe, playing small, finding all the reasoning of why to give it up? Give it up, right? And what else are you protecting yourself from? What other people think? Failing, f f f failing again? Oh yes, you're very familiar with failing. We talked a lot about that in Saturday's workshop. And the gremlin loves for you to fail. The negative inner voice loves it. Yeah, just stay with me. It's safe over here. I've got your back. You don't want to get out of your comfort zone. You may make a fool of yourself. Keep those gifts that God gave you, yes, you, mm -hmm. wrapped. Just leave them wrapped and never unwrap them. Some of you are thinking, I don't have any gifts. Other people do, the lucky ones. Ah, let's work together in coaching. You'll be amazed what the coach will find. And actually, you'll be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh I never thought of, oh yeah, wow, aha moment, aha moment. We all have gifts. Again, don't get caught up in the story, although it was a good one. Take the message, where does it apply to you, in what areas of life? Why? Why would I ever give it up? Why would I ever do that? Yeah. But you have to talk to yourself daily to get over these limitations, this playing small, Stay safe. It's easy here. It's safe here. Nothing to fear. False evidence appearing real. There's nothing to fear because you're not doing anything with your gifts. To be judged. To have people freely give their opinions even when they think it's coming from a good place and it never is, right? Because classy people don't do that. In my opinion, whether there was ill intent or not. And I get to, and I will unapologetically see it that way. But we have to be reminded every single day that we're doing the work, that we're not going to just give it up. If you're not doing the work daily, it'll get pushed to the side just like everything else does that we don't manage giving up practicing dance even if I take my lessons and leave them dormant or don't continue on right now at this season. Think about it. If you missed Saturday's workshop, Live a Mastery Life, create your personal documents to check in with yourself like I do daily and now many others, take it. Take it. Give yourself the gift. It's on the replay tab. You take it today. Be a better master of you. Be methodical in everything. See and live your potential. You have to unwrap the gifts.
be a perpetual student of personal development, of self-growth, of troubleshooting you. It's so easy to troubleshoot other people. Troubleshoot you. What am I just giving it up? Play small. Stay safe. I leave you with this. I'm going to give you an opportunity to share as I'm looking at day two of the rich life, the art of living well, my mission statement for quarter one. If you took the workshop, what was the freebie that I gave you at the beginning of the workshop to put in your documents? I want you to think about that. What was the freebie? Yesterday, like all days, I was tested. Some tests were more um, impactful than others. I would say I had one where I really bit my tongue because of what? Because of, in this morning, when I pulled up document day two, in, in a highlight color, remember Tracy, the Remember, ah. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true, yes. As I'm looking at what's high up in highlight, highlighted that I gave all to you, we will always be tested. Remember, what is it that every day you need to remember? Because boy, is it powerful in navigating, overcoming, being resilient to, adjusting course, adapting to, adapting. Yeah, remember, yeah, this was me this morning, yeah. Drop it in here. I'll give you an opportunity if you took it. What is that phrase that's on everyone's document, highlighted and high up? tells you to give it up is coming from their own place because they have given up. But are you that person? It makes, there's no significance to someone else telling you to give it up. It plays no value or significance on your life. But if you're telling yourself to give it up, that's huge. That, my friends, is huge. Why would I ever give it up? Why would I ever not open these gifts? Don't give up. Don't give up on you. Don't give up on your life. Don't give up on your gifts. Don't give up on your potential. Don't give up on your goals. It is the easy route. It really is. But it's so worth it on the other side in the greatest feeling of confidence comes in your effort of not giving up, but going after, not playing small, not staying safe, facing your fears head on. That's where the real confidence lies. 
and then you soar. Let me start with concern, because if you are someone who maybe feels the same way, you're very weight focused and you are concerned about gaining weight, or maybe you're concerned about the weight you're at. Well, at the end of the day, it goes back to, is the concern serving you or not? I had a subscriber leave a comment on one of my videos and said, Tracy, it would be really nice for you to take us along on several of your celebratory or cheat meals so we can kind of see what you're ordering because most of my, I would say, cheat or celebratory meals take place at a dining establishment or when hosting, because I do a lot of hosting, I also prepare a Friday family dinner. So sometimes I will take a celebratory meal there. Don't forget that when I share a Instagram story, I save it in that day's highlight bubble and it remains there for seven days before I delete it so I can put new content in there. Also, if you're ever looking for any links to anything that I share or something I've talked about in the past and maybe you didn't capture where it's at, I will have a library in the description box below with different places that I have links to, products that I resource over and over, different things that I talk about, kind of the go-to, like for example, my daily devotional. I get reached out to all the time and I share that in so many different places. I also send out two to three newsletters per week every time a video publishes. A newsletter will be in your inbox if you're subscribed. The first Monday of every month, I share a roundup of everything I purchase throughout the entire month. For example, the first Monday of April, there will be an email with a roundup of everything that I bought throughout the month of March, and my husband also contributes to that. So be sure to always watch for that. Let me just do a couple little last minute reminders. Three week intense for quarter two is coming really soon. We begin Monday, April 8th. I'd love for you to join me. The information video goes out in a couple weeks with the exclusive web page, the invitation for the Facebook group community page, all the printable downloads, all the resources, and I've had a a lot of changes that I have implemented for quarter two. So if you're a past three week intense member, watch for some big changes coming in quarter two. We no longer have physical activity as one of the requirements because I trust you're already completing that on the daily, just in active recovery mode. If you're a walker, you're getting plenty of active recovery. So there's some changes to the pillars of exercise, the habit to break and habit to form. I've done some new structures to that. So I sure hope that you join me. There will be a link in the description box to get to the three week intense course page, read the testimonials and get registered. Also, if you took the quarter one goals workshop, that is currently discounted because that workshop actually expires on Friday, April 5th. So because it's coming to a close and expiring, I'm giving those of you who didn't take the opportunity of taking the workshop right before we started quarter one at the end of last year to take advantage of that because it can really help you to prepare and plan for quarter two, which is right around the corner. If, if setting goals is something difficult for you, um, you don't follow through, you don't know how many to set, what to set, that workshop will be super powerful. So take advantage of it. It's, it's currently discounted. And then you get access, you get an invitation to join me on Saturday, April 6th for just a follow-up Q&A. So basically you take the workshop or if you've already taken it, 
you have the option to meet with me in a couple of weeks to kind of share with me how you did throughout the quarter in achieving and executing in your goals. I'm here to support you so that you can achieve success, whatever that looks like for you. I don't have those answers. You do. I help you find them as your certified professional life management coach. So take advantage of the savings if you haven't taken that workshop because it certainly will help you going into quarter two. So I wanted to share those. Again, links to everything in the description box below this video. As always, thank you for sticking it out and being here. And I'll see you on Instagram stories here on YouTube, in my newsletter, and everywhere else. Take care.